Hi, welcome to this week's video on how to install VMware Workstation Player 17 on Windows. In this video, we're going to talk about what VMware Workstation Player is. We're going to download VMware Workstation Player and then we're going to install it. And once we've installed it, we're going to also create a simple VM to show how the system works. Now, VMware Workstation Player is a piece of software that we can install on Windows and it allows us to create virtual machines that run other operating systems. For instance, we can have another Windows or another Linux system running in a virtual machine in our Windows environment. Now these are useful for learning or for testing without the need to adjust our underlying operating system. So with that said, let's get started with downloading VMware Workstation Player for Windows. Now, as you can see, we're on the VMware Workstation Player front page. So if we roll down to the bottom of this page, you should see there is a link to try Workstation 17 Player for Windows. So we'll click the download now button and this should start VMware Workstation Player, the downloading into our downloads folder. So we'll allow that to download and we'll come back when it's finished. So the download complete, we should be able to go into our downloads folder and we should see we now have VMware Player Installer. So we can double click on that to start the installation process. Now our user account control will prompt us if we want to allow this to make changes to our devices. And we can see that it's verified by VMware Inc. So we can click yes. And the VMware Workstation Play Installer will start. So we're just going to run through the wizard and install the software. So we'll click next and we're going to agree to the license terms. Click next. Now, usually the default options are enough. If you've a reason to use the enhanced keyboard driver, by all means, tick that box. But for now, we'll stick with default and click next. We're going to check for product updates on startup because this is really helpful when using VMware Workstation Player as it let you know if there's an updated version. I'm going to opt out of the customer experience improvement program. This time click next. And we want icons on our desktop and start menu. So click next and choose install. And this should run through the installation of VMware Workstation Player. And we'll come back when it's finished. Now domain installation is finished and you'll notice there's a license button. Now we're not going to enter a license because we're going to use it for non-commercial use. There is a pro version of VMware Workstation Player that can be used if you need to use it in a commercial environment. But for us we don't, so click finish. And with that, the installation is complete. So with our installation complete, we've got a new icon on our desktop, VMware Workstation Player so we'll start the application. Now once again, you'll notice we're getting prompted for our license. But again, we're not using it for commercial use, so we can click continue as a free license and finish. So now we've got VMware Workstation Player installed. Let's create a VM and show how it works. So what we can do is we'll go to the Ubuntu website. And we're going to create an Ubuntu virtual machine. So we'll go to ubuntu.com and download the latest version of Ubuntu, which is 23.10. So we'll download. And it should download the Ubuntu installer. So when it's complete, we'll come back. So with the download complete, we have an Ubuntu ISO in our downloads folder. So I'm going to create an Ubuntu virtual machine. So if we click here to create a new virtual machine, 
we can choose where we want to set up our virtual machine from. So I'm going to choose installer disk image and click browse. And in my downloads folder, I've got my Ubuntu 23.10 desktop installer. So I'm going to select that and choose open. Now we've selected the ISO, there's a tooltip underneath that says it will use Easy Install. Now Easy Install is a tool that VMware Workstation Player uses to try and automatically install our operating system for us. We just answer a few questions on the next page. Now in my experience, Easy Install is a little hit and miss, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So I'm going to attempt to use it but do be warned, you might still be prompted for this information during installation. So when we click next, we'll be asked for our name. So we'll just fill that out. And then our username. And a password. And confirm that. And click next. Choose a name. So I'm going to call it Ubuntu, click next, and I'm happy with the disk size, click next. And when we click finish, VMware Workstation Player will start our virtual machine and run through the installation for us. So at this point, I'm going to point out again how easy install is sometimes successful and sometimes not. So you still may be prompted for information during the installation. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. Please leave a comment below if you liked it or if there's anything else you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. See you soon.